And we have some news coming in from Paris. One person has been killed and another injured in a stabbing attack near the Eiffel Tower. The man killed in the incident was a tourist from Germany. A police operation is still on in the area as of now. The suspected attacker has been detained. He's a 26-year-old French national. Speaking on the attack, French interior minister said that a man attacked a couple who were foreign tourists. A German tourist who was born in the Philippines died from the stabbing. The minister said that the suspect had shouted, Allahu Akbar, that translates to God is greatest, before being arrested. The officials say that the suspected attack attacker is known for, for practicing and supporting radical Islamism. Take a listen. Ce que nous connaissons de l'assaillant, c'est qu'il est français né en France. Il est né en 1997 à Neuilly-sur-Seine. Il est connu des services de renseignement et de justice. Il a été condamné à notre connaissance à 4 ans de prison. C'est l'information que j'ai au moment où je vous parle. Il les a effectués en 2016 parce qu'il avait déjà voulu passer à une action violente, mais qu'il n'avait pas fait puisqu'il avait été interpellé auparavant par la DGSI. Et il est suivi par la DGSI comme personne ayant des troubles psychiatriques très importants. Il était d'ailleurs sous traitement psychiatrique et neurologique. The man told the police that he was upset because of killings of Muslims in Afghanistan and Palestine, adding that he was triggered by the horrific events unfolding in Gaza at the moment. The French Prime Minister has reacted to the deadly attack, saying that her thoughts are with the victims and that France will never give in to terrorism. French President Emmanuel Macron has also sent his condolences to the victim's family. On your screens right now are visuals from the attack site. French anti-terror prosecutors are on the scene, as you can see, and they launched a probe shortly after the attack. The incident comes a few months before the French capital hosts the 2024 Olympic Games. The attack can possibly raise questions about the security situation in the renowned city before the International Games.